Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Truly Social with Tara. Happy birthday to you. I can't believe that it's been exactly one year since I started the Truly Social with Tara series on YouTube. Over the last 52 weeks, I mostly stuck to my one per week video regime, skipping weeks here and there for holidays, getting married and travel. But here are some stats. Over the year, my channel grew by over 2,500 subscribers. My videos have been viewed over 140,000 times and the most popular video by far was my brand management is the enemy of social, which has nearly 14,000 views. So on the one year birthday of Truly Social, I'm offering up 12 things I've learned in my first year on YouTube, one for every month. My name is Tara and this is Truly Social. The first thing I've learned in my first year on YouTube is video has a much bigger impact per view than a blog post has per read. I've been blogging since 2002 and creating content online since the mid 90s. Writing has always come easy for me and video, not so much. I knew several years ago that video was where I should be moving, but I dragged my feet. It was too much work when I could be writing an article that much faster. But it's hard. But wow. The impact that a video makes in comparison to a blog post is night and day. It's not about the quantity either. The impact comes in the quality of engagement. You need far fewer views to connect with an audience. Number two, you can't please everyone. So don't try. He's a pedantic, pontificating, pretentious bastard. I've had completely opposite feedback in every single video. One person will say, I hate your clips. They're distracting. And then the other person will say, I really love your clips. They really add to the message. One person will say, your background is too colorful. And the next one will say, I love the background in your videos. When you get opposing feedback like this, it's a great reminder that nothing can be universally appealing. So it's important that you listen, but take every comment with a grain of salt. Number three, if you want an audience to commit to you, you need to commit to your audience. I love you, but I need more from you. This is the very most important lesson of all. Lots of people post for a while, then quit, citing that it doesn't work. There's a thing called the three month slump. But what doesn't work is inconsistent posting. I found that the more consistent I post, the more people engage with my content. Those weeks that I couldn't because I was traveling, well, it was like I was backpedaling. If I wanted people to commit to my videos, I needed to commit to delivering fresh new content on a regular basis. Number four, if you're happy with what you posted, you waited too long. You're a chicken. Cuckoo ka cha! I look back on my early truly social days and cringe. I know that every creator feels the same way about their early content, but without that, I wouldn't have learned and grown and found my voice. And I'm sure I'll look back on this video and this first year and cringe too. But without these early videos, I wouldn't level up. It's way better to just get started and learn and grow and invest over time. Grow with your audience. Number five, you can't manufacture personality. So don't try to be someone else. I've seen too many people get caught up in trying to emulate other creators or follow some sort of best practices. That never works. Sure, you can learn tips and tricks from those who have advice, but when it comes to your content, be you. That's a unique strategy. We should all be such independent thinkers. Be an independent thinker. Number six, making great video is simpler than it looks. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I used to be intimidated by video, but once I realized that it doesn't have to be complicated, it got a lot more simple. I just got all of the basics in order and started to explore and learn, which isn't much different than learning anything new. However, at the same time, number seven, making great video is harder than it looks. It'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No, it won't. It will be difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. That is what it will be. Once you get over the intimidation of all the technical bits, you do realize that the complicated part of video isn't the technical stuff, it's the non-technical stuff. Figuring out your voice doesn't happen overnight and trying to come up with a sustainable, consistent format and theme, it's hard. To note, I've made two videos in my How to Start a Web Series series and the technical one is where everyone seems to focus. I hate to tell you this guys, but that's not where you're gonna get hung up. Number eight, post it and no matter how great it is, they won't come. Hey! Where is everybody? 
So many great creative types don't realize that a big part of audience development is what happens in and around the content itself. Time and time again, I see huge amounts of effort being put into the production of a video, and then it's posted with very little thought or effort put into the promotion of the video. So it gets no views. There are lots of things you need to do once you upload the video. Every week, I spend hours making sure my videos are fully titled, described, and tagged. I also create closed captions for every single video. Then I write compelling social posts and create other pieces of content that will highlight why people should take the time to watch the video. I call this part optimization and promotion, and it's a really, really important step. Number nine, knowing your audience means that you need to spend significant time interacting with them offline as well as online. I'm really gonna have to get to know you guys. You know, we gotta get closer. Move in with you for a while. Get to be real pals. You know what I'm saying? Knowing your audience means spending time in conversations with them. I get my best ideas for videos through chatting with other social media professionals. My most popular video, Brand Management is the Enemy of Social, it came from a conversation I had with a contact who was telling me how frustrated he was. Number 10, you can't anticipate where opportunities will come from. When I kicked off this series, I hoped that it would bring leads, and it has. But more than that, it's also reignited my speaking career and brought me other gigs I hadn't even thought to pursue. I know of a podcaster who got a book deal because of her series, and several YouTubers who were offered TV series because of their videos. Number 11, having a great editor will set you free. But finding a good one that matches your style is very difficult. There are lots of people who can edit video and audio out there. But once again, the technical stuff that's not the hard part. You need to find someone who gets your style and voice. I was super lucky to be introduced to Ian at Innuendo Studios. Working with him has improved my life so much. Thank you, Ian. I rarely have any changes to his edits. It's like he reads my mind. I think it's because he's also a YouTuber as well as being an editor. And you should hire him. And then finally, number 12. Getting an email from the community member is the best reward of all. I live for emails from the Truly Socialites. I remember when I got my first one. It was only like a month or so into doing the series. The person emailing me told me that I helped them win an argument with a colleague and it totally made my day. At the end of the day, knowing that you affect people's lives positively, even if it's just one, is the greatest reward. It's what keeps me going even when I get stuck. And I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. Of course, I've learned so much more than this in the past year, but those are the highlights. And speaking of email from community members, keep those questions coming. I plan to do lots more community questions in the next year. Hell, send me a video of you asking your question and I'll integrate it. Thank you for your first year of love and support. My name is Tara and this is Truly Social. Oh,